Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll talk about a very important question which has been regularly asked in investment banking. That is why the hash map key should be final or it should be an immutable object. I'll show this by example and we'll see the example which violates the hash map unique key principle and how we can resolve it. I'll also show that. All right. So what I will do is I'll simply create a class called employee. Right, and it has uh, first name, last name, and it has a constructor, and it has a setter. Uh, first, let's overwrite the equals and hash code, and then um, we have getter method and setter methods, and we'll have a two string method. Okay, simple. Now what I will do is simply I'll create a hash map. Uh, I'll simply ask it a copilot to create um, okay employee one and employee two object. So we have already created, and now I'll create a hash map and which has an okay, employee um, object as um, a key and uh, the value is integer. So we are not bothered about. Um, the value because I just want to show about the key okay so all right and um, now let's print the hash map and let's check whether the employee 1 and employee 2 are equal okay now what I will do is simply say just run it and see the employee first name is John, last name is Do, employee first name is Chen, and the last name is Do. Okay, so these two are different, and we can see uh, because that equals uh, returns the false. Now, what I will do, I will simply uh, employee two first name, I'll change it, and now again I will check. So, employee one and employee two equality, and we can see the now it is true. So what should be the output of the hash map? So let's see. Um, okay, let's see key one and key are equals. Okay, because the key one and key are employee one and employee two. And they are equal. How it's possible? Uh, the key two keys are same or equal in a hash map. And if I print the hash map, uh, print the hash map. Now again, if I try to print it, and you can see here the name is instead of Jan, the second name is John. Both are same, and they are still in the hash map. So if you try to find out any um the object uh, by this uh, key one or key two you will have unpredictable results and this will totally violation of hash map and if you see the size of the hash map is also two this is the reason why we should have an immutable key now if uh, if the key is key that is an employee if it is an immutable class we do not have any sort of a set or method like this um, set first name and set last name in fact we do not have a, we all have all the variables or attributes in the employee class will be final so we will not be able to change them and if you are not able to change them then we will have a two different keys because now the key two once it has been created cannot be changed at, at the time of the creation if you are creating the same key then it will overwrite the first one so always it will be the one key if you are using the same values for the employee two at the time of the creation and if time of the if you are putting into the map the time of creation then it will have only one key and it's um, it will override the existing key but after creating the things if you are if you cannot change so it will key will always be unique but if it is a mutable object then after putting into the map you are able to change the key and this can be 
uh, a little bit hack you can say and this is very important questions especially if you are going for an interview um, for an investment banking this is a very tricky question that i have faced all right so that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in the next video